Hello everyone, Timu time! Yay! I'm so excited I got some really cool items from Timu. Yes, Timu. First off, let's look at the shower curtain. This is a geo um, geometric pattern shower curtain and it's kind of mid-century. I paid $11.98. But I use the shower curtains for drapes. Why not, right? Why not? They're very inexpensive and a uh, lovely material. It doesn't wrinkle very much. Uh, very pleased. But anyway, I just uh, thought I got it. And then they also come with uh, the hangers. Isn't that the bomb? That's very nice. They're like C shapes, which I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. So I just go to Dollar General or wherever, even Dollar Tree, get a vinyl uh, interior to put with this. But isn't this cute? This is the geometric print, uh, kind of mid-century. And I like the colors. It kind of has a gray tone on the background. I don't know if I was expecting white, but um, it's the print that I wanted. I wanted this uh, geometric, Oh, what do you call it? Satellite, um, you know, how the, the 50s were. Isn't that neat? So adorable. And I used a thinner one, you know, not as wide one. And then, um, you know, I just want the panel to be fully exposed. So this one might be the shorter one width-wise. Yeah, it's plenty long enough. See how it's from here to about here? But you can, when you've got your got it installed in the shower, you can see your print. If you had two of them hanging up, it, or a really extra long one, it would you'd have to bunch it up. But this is just about the right size to cover the bathtub. And then if you put your shower liner in there, uh, that will go all the way, so you can have see-through on each side. That's how I'm doing it now. So I like the less wide one. And they can be less expensive, too, the smaller panel. So give that a thought when you're purchasing a shower curtain because it could save you some money on that. And uh, then, like I said, you can see your design really well. So, yeah, I'm happy. What a buy. I love Timu. Timu, you are the best. And it comes with the shower ring. So, yes. Yes on the shower curtain. Um... This is something very unusual. Guess what's in this package? You'll never guess. You'll never, never guess. And trust me, you won't guess. This is called um, Versatile Large. Not very large. Abalone shell. And I paid $1.77. That's a baby abalone. That's a baby, baby abalone. A tiny, tiny. I wonder if they're growing these in China for consumption, because abalone is my fave, my absolute favorite. So perhaps they're farming these. I wanna check, I've got to do some research. So I was curious about the abalone shell. Very nice. Okay, that was just an experimental buy. I guess I'm happy. It's versatile, right? They said you could use it for an incense holder, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I would. Next thing is um, in a package, in a very nice package. If I can open it up, open it. Yes, I'm gonna open it. I wanna pull it out because it's really pretty. Very pretty, pretty, pretty. This is called, ooh, isn't that pretty? This is called Starry Sky Mascara. It gives you volume and length and it's waterproof, I guess that's what I meant to say. This was $1.39. God, just get that for the case. Isn't that pretty? Lovely. Let's take a look at the brush. Oh, I'm so excited about this. It's so pretty. There you have the mascara. I've got something hanging off the end in the pant. But um, yeah, this was just to buy it. $1.39, wanted to see it. And uh, does it say anything on the tube? 
Sky 7 is what I think that says on there too. But it's just beautiful. Isn't that lovely? Thrilled with that. Okay, then I got uh, a 10-piece roller set. 1.18 inches in diameter for $1.39. This is a heck of a buy for 10 rollers. I needed some little ones. I don't think I had a choice in the color. I don't know. I'm not going to swear to that, but I like the grippy action on the curler. It doesn't tangle. It doesn't, you know, it comes out easily when your hair is dry. You can use these with clips or with their uh, with their top to hold the roller in place. So there's 10 of these for $1.39. That's a deal. It's like, uh, what is that? 13 cents, 14 cents a piece. And they, they call this, um, what is this one? Oh, I can't, I think this is covering it up. These are large rollers, 2.5. This is a large roller in their estimation, 2.5, and then it's a 1.18 inch diameter. So that's the size I wanted, and it was a very good price. I wanted to get as cheaply as I could. And I love these rollers. Look how nicely they work in my hair. I'm just thrilled with the rollers. So that's that. And then I bought this. This is a... Uh, something else. This is peach. Peach moisturizing foot foot something. Foot cream. So it comes in. This is um, peach moisturizing foot cream for a dollar two dollars and nine cents. Two oh nine. So let's open it up. I wonder if it has a nice scent to it. What does that say? Do you hear my kitty cat? Do you hear my kitty cat? Kitty cat! Mama cat was, is crying and I'm not sure why. All needs have been met. But here it is. This is the peach moisturizing foot cream for $2.09. $2.09? Oh, come on, have a peach scent. Oh, it's got a little plastic lid. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Sorry, I didn't mean to throw that at you. Where's the scent? Where's the scent? Oh, it's, it's light. If it has a scent, it should have a scent. I'm not seeing it though. I'm not smelling it. No, no smell. I can't smell it. It says improves dry skin. So, I don't know, you know, kind of like that Vaseline balm, huh? But, you know, maybe this will help my hands look so nice and smooth. Oh, yeah, no odor. Don't buy this for the scent. And it has a little plastic cap for the top of it. And then you put the lid back on. Hmm, you're supposed to use it on your feet, huh? Feet? Feet only? How to use, apply an appropriate amount of this product evenly to dry areas such as hands and feet and massage gently until absorbed. Yay, I can use it on my hands. I'm so happy. You know, it is attractive. It's an attractive box and it's an attractive container. I think I'm going to love having that on my, my uh, where am I going to put that? Messing tray. I don't know what I was going to call that. In my bathroom somewhere. Uh, it's late in the day. It must be. Because I can't think. Oh yeah. So something different. Here's another very different. Different. Guess what that is. This is the heat transfer iron-on. Disney Wally -E cartoon iron-on. $2.24. I have a t-shirt for you. There's uh, like a little video on, on this item. I think I'll, I'll be able to refresh my memory and 
and then do a do an application to a t-shirt. Maybe I'll do a video. Hey, that'd make a fun video, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. I have a black t-shirt. I'm planning to put this on. But I think, um, how adorable. So cute. So let's take a look at it. I think it's just pretty, pretty, uh, yeah, there you go. It's just on kind of a rubbery feeling there. Oh, that's adorable. There's the Wally iron-on transfer. It made it pretty good in the shipping, I would say. Yeah, it didn't do too bad. So we shall do that. That'll be fun. That will be fun. Put him back in the package till I can get to this project. Oops, wrong way. Wrong way. We'll do it later after the video. We will do it later, later. Okay, next. Next. You know, I bought um, a two-piece. This is Girls Cartoon Print. No, this is not. This is, uh, where are you? Oh, I have three, three notes. Okay, I, no excuse, no excuse. This is Cozy Women's Panda Print PJ, $3.98. This was a set, a set for $3.98. I'm going to give you fair warning, though. Do you see this material? I think this is what everyone calls swimsuit material. It's kind of uh, not very appealing, very shiny. Um, you know, the top isn't too bad. I bought two of these. I can suffer in silence. The top I like a lot, but I'm not really wild about the pant part because of the material. Not sure I like this, but you know, maybe winter it will be better. I don't know, it's just not appealing. This this fabric is not appealing, not appealing. It doesn't remind you of cotton. Now the other pajamas I've bought have had kind of like a softness, even though they're 100% polyester or a combination of something polyester, main ingredient. These are just not appealing, this not appealing. But I do like the top. I think I'll definitely get my $3.98 worth out of this because I, I will wear the top for sure because that is cute. It says the bear is tired. It's adorable. It really is cute. That was $3.98. And I couldn't find those other two items. Let's see what else we got in here in this, this stuff. I have a few more things here. What's this? Let's take a look. What is this? I think this is a powder. I think this is a powder. Maybe it's loose powder. Yes, it is. This is uh, Milk Cute. GG Bear. GG Bear, how much were you? Okay, I think this was a um, dollar seven. I think I think it was a dollar seven, or it could have been a dollar thirty nine if it's the oil control. Let's see if I can find that other one. What is this one? I'll show you the two powders at once. A dollar seven or a dollar thirty nine for these? Yes, yes. We'll take a look. We will look. We will look. We will see. Oh, this one. I remember the, the packaging on this. This looks very nice. They both look adorable, actually. But this one had the holographic. Isn't that cute? This is uh, Concealer Goes Through the Powder. And it's... Uh, Color three, delicate and silky powder, light and breathable, evenly attached, covering skin blemishes, easy to mix makeup, and not easy to take off makeup. Create skin, 
something makeup makes skin soft and smooth refreshing it has talc powder silica mica I mean talc, talc powder and mica let's go into the bottom oh three where are we hmm. nope 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 didn't put it on there hmm. Yep, I didn't put it. I thought I was getting myself ahead of the game here, but I didn't. So it's, you know, 30 cents higher one or the other. So that's a little plastic container with holographic with the rabbit on the top. And it was everything I just read. And it looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the color. Ooh. And it comes with a little sponge. Oh, that's nice. It has a sponge in here. That's neat. It's the little sponge. There's the shade. This is 03. Let's see if I can paint myself with this. Oh, yeah, I like this. Can you see this? I think it's very nice. Oh, I think it's gonna live up to everything it said. Hopefully, hopefully you can get an idea of that. That's nice. Okay, recommend, recommend that. That's 03, I think I've picked the, a good shade. I think it'll work for me because I do have a lot of tanning going on. I'm out in the sun, what? This one, let's take a look at this one. I can't remember which was which though, that kind of bothers me. And I won't say if I'm not sure, but at least, you know, when you see this in the listing, then you can say, I saw my granny show this on her channel. This one does it have, this is 03 natural color too. Natural for me. Yes, very light, I suppose. Milk Cute. This is uh, Milk Cute pressed powder with a little sliding off top with a little sponge applicator. I like the purple, it's got the little Ooh, this one has a little tab to take this off. Oh, can you see this has a little rainbow embossed in the powder? This looks to be a lighter shade to me. This looks lighter than the one I put on just a minute ago. Oh, I'm, I'm liking them both. Oh, oh my gosh, what a buy. Yeah, this was a good buy on this. Yes, this was nice. Oh, just a finishing touch on, um, can you see the color there? And I don't know where that came from. Wow, thrilling. This is nice. This is nice. Maybe I shouldn't put my sponge against it. Put the lid back in there. Put the top back on. Just a pleasant odor, too, if, I, if I'm... Uh, Come here. No, the um, this milk one, or not the milk one, but this one doesn't seem to have any scent. I think this milk one did have a scent though. Let me let me test that again real fast before we go away from the powder. Away from the powder. Yes, this one has a little slight, just like a clean odor. That one, nothing much. So. Yeah, I think uh, of the two, I might be leaning towards this one. Yeah, I like them. Oh, I don't know. This one's very special. This one's very special, too. So, yeah, I think those are a deal. I'm, I'm, good, I'm good on that.
gosh, what a buy, a dollar something? All right, now what is this? We have something else. Don't you just love surprises? I do, I do. It's been a while, it's been a while, over a week. You forgive me on that. Ugh. And it's got scotch tape, so I will Ugh. cut through the tape. Cut through the tape. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? In here. Oh, this is the incense. Okay, this comes with a gourd holder. This is a 20 piece home fragrance. $2.23, it's Osmanthus, one gourd holder. And here we are, we open her up, we'll open it up. There's the gourd holder. The gourd, the gourd holder. Yes, that's so cute. And it's coil. So how in the world? So, what does it say? This is Osmanthus. All right. You know, I think you separate them out and... Uh, oh, it's ingenious, because how you do it is you set it into the top of this gourd to hold it. A little spiral that's burning. I wonder if I should figure something else out underneath it. I want to be fire safe. No burning anything. It might have said on the listing how to unravel this. Coil, because there's 20 pieces in here. Quite a few. Quite a few little doodads. Just opening them up. I'm going to pull it out gently, gently, gently. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look, they cut. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. How many are there? One, two. You know what? I think it's two and one. So you separate them. You separate. I've already been this coil thing. I'm getting it down. Two separate coils. I want one coil. One, one coil. <gasps> that didn't work. <gasps> there, there's the coil. This one got kind of damaged, but I gotta be more careful. So how I believe this works is you set this in the gourd. How is that gonna work? Have I already forgotten how to use this? It's starting burning at the bottom, so I, I'm thinking you would put the, put it up here. Is that correct? Just a minute. It was what I thought. You do light the longer end. This sits in the middle like this. So however I can get this, the gourd to hold that. That's going to hold that flat. Like that, and then you light it. And you're going to need a fireproof bottom. So yeah, you have to have a fireproof bottom. And then you light the end. I thought it would be rather brittle, because I did break it, so then you light this end here. Curious as to what Osmanthus smells like. Don't get excited. Now wait, wait for it. Smells like wood burning. Wood burning. You know, incense is so much different than an aerosol room spray. Mm. 
Okay, I'm going to set this down and I'll just think about it while I do this video. I'll keep an eye on it. I just like to smell it. You know, nothing to write home about as far as the scent. I thought I was going to, it sounds so exotic. I thought I'd really, really like it. Not bad, but different, different. So, okay, this is a cute little container that it, the, all the stack comes in. All right, I got more incense too. Yeah, that was not the only one. I got four, four others. Now these varied in price, I think. What are these? No, actually one, two, three, four. These were a dollar and eleven cents each. And there's 40 sticks in each each container. So let's see what this one is. This looks like it'll be easy to open. This is wormwood. Wormwood. So I imagine there's an opening right up here. I mean, I'm familiar with the stick incense. Yes, I am. So we take off the paper. Take off the lid. And here's the sticks. And there's 40 in here. And this is wormwood, wormwood. And it looks, it's probably Chinese. It says made in China. Okay, that might get better with the burning. Osmanthus is doing fine. It's still over here. And then I got something called Fragrant Goose Pear. Fragrant Goose Pear Tent. That's a new one. Looking forward to that. Maybe I'll have a, a burn off and see which flavor I, I like the best. So there's 40 sticks in here. And then this one is uh, the Na Trang Vietnam. And this one is Sin Chu Sinks. Sin Chu Sinks. Had to buy that just for the name. Looks very interesting. And these are all made in China, I suppose. And that is it. We did wormwood. We got the fragrant goose pear. And the, yep, and the H. All right. Well, that's my haul for today. That was kind of fun. A little bit different. And Osmanthus is, you know, it's light. I don't know what to say about that. It's pretty light. But anyway, I'm wishing you all the best. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed year. And come back and see me sometime. <laughs> Nobody watches. Bye-bye for now.